Hi everyone, this is Heather with the Blue Earth County Historical Society and today we are going to be making these really simple ways to hover a cotton ball. Um, the diameter of this is going to be contingent on how big of a thing you have to trace for a circle. So this one's pretty small here. Um, you can make them a lot bigger, if, depending again on what you have to trace. So with your cotton ball in, in here, um, with blowing on it, can make it hover for a little bit of time before eventually it'll pop out. Um, you can do fun designs with these and put some like some eyes in the background, a mouth on the inside, however you'd want. Um, I'm going very simple here with this. Um, what you will need is a straw, scissors, cotton ball. We had a debate earlier today if a small marshmallow would work, so uh, if you give it a try with a marshmallow, let me know to see how well it works. Pencil, a uh, piece of scrap paper, whatever you have laying around to circle with, um, and then something to use to trace. I'm using a furniture mover. This was the biggest circle I could find here to trace, so that is what I am using. Uh, but uh, really, whatever you have, if you have a protractor, you can make something bigger. A coworker recommended a piece of string and a pencil and pen to do the circle around. Again, whatever, we're just gonna use it to trace the circle with so that we get a perfect or perfect-ish circle. So uh, let me show you how easy these are to make and let's get started. All right, again, super simple, easy to make here. Um, I also forgot we're gonna need some tape. So we're gonna start out with here, tracing our circle around whatever you have to make your circle with. Got our circle, take our scissors here, going to gently cut as close to the line as we can here. Again, we're just trying to get as round as we can here. If it's not completely perfect, not going to be the end of the world here. Okay. We are then going to grab something that has a straight edge, figure out where our middle is here. This is about a two inch circle that I just drew, however much yours is. Um, we're gonna find the center, draw a brief little line here all the way through. Take a look at it. Uh, the first time I did this, my, my uh, line was a little high. We're just gonna cut in on that line. And then we're gonna twist it into a cone. So you got your two sides there. One's gonna go behind, one's gonna go over just so that you make that cone point. And this is where you'll take a piece of your tape here, and we're just gonna tape up the side here. We are then gonna very lightly cut off the tip here. Not too much though, um, so we don't have a big gaping hole, but just enough, that's not enough. Uh, we're gonna stick our straw through it's still a little bit too small. My first one was too big, so I'm being a little overly cautious here. All right. Stick our straw in there. And then to make sure that we have a nice, good seal, we'll make sure that that is near the bottom there. We're gonna take some more tape here. And I have some little pieces here on my desktop from the clippings here. Make sure you clean those up. All right, so now once that's in there, I'm gonna take some more tape. I'm gonna tape that onto the bottom here so that there's just no extra air holes. Mine, I squished it just a little bit, so I'm gonna pop some of the bottom back out here. My straw is just a little bit too far in, so I'm just gonna work that back to there just a little bit and repress the tape in. Um, you'll Bendy straws are kind of the best here, so that with that, um, you can watch it as it goes. So we're gonna put our cotton ball in there, and then you'll just blow on it and have it pop up. So super simple, easy to make. Uh, hopefully you have most of the supplies at home already and can see who can hover their um, cotton ball, or again, marshmallow, if you give it a try, the longest. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.